The next part is we're going to start to make arrays of cards, which are going to represent hands. And let's uncomment all of this. All right, so it labels, we do a print statement so that it labels making hands. And you should have errors here. So we're going to fix these errors. We need a method called make random deck. And how do I know where this method's going to go? Well, it's not going to be inside the card.java fi file. The reason I know that is because uh, all these methods are constructors. They went inside the card, but this make random deck, it's not a constructor. If it's a constructor, it would be called card. And if it was a method we did somewhere up here, this get value is a method, but it goes inside of card because it's C dot. So it's a card object dot get value. So that means the get value method has to be inside of card and somewhere we can go look at it. It's probably easiest right click, navigate, go to declaration control B and that takes you right to the value. All right, again, this is not correct because this is supposed to return 10 whenever there's a jack, queen, or king. So it's not fully correct here. All right, so let's go ahead and build this method. So this is a method we can make or generate automatically, create method. We can do the same thing here for sum. And again, this is not a card object dot sum. This is just a method called sum. So I'm gonna go click on the error, create method, max value, click on the error, create method. And oops, I didn't wanna do that. Click on the error message, create method. Okay. And do the same thing for min value, create method. Create method. All right, so it just built a lot of methods. It usually puts them at the bottom. Here they are. So make random deck. All right, so what is this supposed to do? Make random deck. Let's look at the sample output so we have some idea of what's going on. So we're down here into somewhere making hands. So it's supposed to make an array of cards. So it makes random deck, it passes it, we pass in a three, so it should make a random deck with three cards in it. Okay, before we look at make random deck, I gave you the make full deck, and all this is, is the, we did this in the lectures for chapter 12, all I did was I pulled all that down into its own method, and it returns an array of cards right here. Now this make random deck, it's going to also return an array of cards. So we have to get rid of this throw exception. We'll talk about exceptions in a different chapter. All right, so how do we build this? Let's start by just grabbing all the code. We're making a deck inside make full deck. So we're making a deck here, except it's not a full deck. It's a random deck. So we're not making it size 52. This integer is the size of the deck. So we're gonna go with I. So we declare an array of cards, set index to zero. All right, this for loop, it's not really what we want. Um, one way, one thing we need to do, instead of making a new card that has a certain rank and suit, we wanna use the random constructor. So it takes no arguments. So this would build a random deck. However, it'll build a random deck with 52 cards in it because these for loops run 52 times total. The outer one runs four, the inner run one runs 13. And so it'll run four times 13 or 52 total. So let's go ahead, delete that for loop. All right, we need to we don't really need this index either. All 
All right, we're gonna do something funky here. Actually, no, we're not. Let's see. Uh, I need to give this a name. This is not gonna work because you, we've already used the letter I. So let's just call it index. There we go. Index equals zero. Index less than, now we don't always wanna do three. We wanna do I and this will be plus plus index. All right, so this will create a random deck and then return it. Uh, and anytime you build a new method automatically, it's gonna throw an exception and I'm just gonna delete these and when you throw an exception, it stops the code from running. So I'm taking out all these throw. Uh, we do have a bunch of errors now because these methods are supposed to return something. Uh, some is supposed to be an integer, not a string. Uh, so I need to return a number. So I'm gonna return a number. Obviously not all the sums are gonna be zero. In fact, none of the sums will be zero. Uh, return max value should be an integer also. They don't, NetBeans won't always pick the right uh, type here. So value is supposed to be an actual numerical value. Return zero. And this one returns an index, so it needs to be an integer, return zero. Min value, return zero. Should be an int. Should be an int and we'll return zero. Okay, we'll fix this in the next video, but right now we'll just go ahead and run it. Uh oh. There's three out of bounds. All right, three out of bounds. So we're not allowed to equal i it goes zero to i minus one. So we need to make sure we're less than i, not equal to i. That should fix that error. There we go. All right, so what's happening here? We're, we do get a random hand, three different cards in it. It doesn't sum to zero. We have a 10, a three, and a four. So the 10, three, and four should sum to 17, not to zero. So clearly the sum should not always return a zero. All right, so how does this sum work? Well, good news is you did an array lab that had the sum of an array. So it's gonna be very similar to what you did in lab one. And that's where you're gonna to look to build sum. Max value is very similar to the array lab as well. You wanna get the, max, the card with the maximum value. Uh, actually, this is gonna be card not integer, I'm just gonna put null in for now. Min value will also return a card. All right, at least that'll get rid of the errors. Okay, well, I'll talk about these in the next video.